Hey, it's Matt with Meat Church coming to you from my live fire outdoor kitchen here in Waxahachie, Texas. So today's going to be a unique video. I get asked all the time by people, how the heck do you make brisket all the time, especially during the week, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because that's what we do in Texas. But seriously though, here in Texas, uh, we generally make briskets on a traditional offset stick burner. So you're running a fire, you know, you're having to throw a log on it every 45 minutes or an hour or so. Obviously you can't do that if you're at the office during the week. So I thought what I would do is show you something I've been teaching students around the world, which is how to make a brisket during the week using Traeger's Wi-Fi or cloud-based technology. So today we're starting with a prime grade full packer brisket. Uh, it's already trimmed. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to trim it today. I've got a video on my channel on how to trim a brisket. So if you want to check that out, you can. We're going to jump right into seasoning it. Um, I'm going to use our beef rub, which is holy cow. You can use kind of your favorite rub, but this is a this is a real popular Texas option. Made right here, south side of Fort Worth. MSG and gluten free. I like to season up kind of high. I'm actually gonna put two rubs on, so I'm kinda of keeping that in mind as I go. I'm gonna season the meat side first in this case. Um, I'm gonna cook it fat side up, I'll talk about that, but since I'm going fat up, I'm gonna season the meat side first. So we're gonna go about two to one, holy cow to our holy gospel. Um, why this choice? This is a pretty tried and true combination. Uh, we final at the Houston Rodeo and brisket this year with this combination. So I know it works, I like it. Like I said, you guys can kind of go whatever flavor profile you like. Um, we have an injection too. I'm not gonna inject this today. This is gonna be, you know, kind of my standard backyard brisket and I don't think that you need uh, to inject in the backyard. You're welcome to try it. And I also don't use any binders. So I didn't put any liquid on the meat before I put the seasoning you can. That's a way uh, for your seasoning to adhere quicker. But for time's sake, I'm just gonna pat this a couple times. I'm gonna flip it over so that you guys don't have to wait. Um, if I had all the time in the world, I'd let it sit about 30 minutes aside. But to be honest with you guys, it's 6.30 on a Monday night here in Texas. I just got home from work, hung out with the kids for a few minutes, came outside, I'm gonna get this thing seasoned up and I wanna put it on because we've got dinner plans tonight. So my goal is to get this on by 7 p.m. in this case. So what I'll do on this side is I will let this, this side sit. Uh, this is the side I'm gonna cook up. And I'll let this sit for, you know, I'd like to have 30 minutes. I'm okay with about 15. This seasoning's super fresh, so it's gonna be nice and potent. You guys are gonna taste it. So anyway, we've got that sitting. I'm gonna take off, come back, let it adhere and sweat out, get my Traeger rolling, and we're gonna put it on. Okay, so this brisket is sweat out. It's just about seven o'clock and I'm gonna put it on to cook it. So how am I gonna make this thing work for dinner tomorrow night? Couple things. First off, I'm gonna lower the temp down to a temperature low enough that it won't finish. So instead of running my normal 275 degree brisket recipe, I'm gonna start this one out at 190 degrees. Uh, and since I'm on a Traeger Timberline, I'm gonna hit the super smoke option just cause I can. I'm running oak pellets. Uh, Texas barbecue is made with post oak, so it's a heavy smoke. You could also go with like a hickory and mesquite, Texas beef, but I'm going with the heaviest, which is oak. And the other way I'm going to accomplish this, Traeger's Wi-Fi technology, you can take their app on your phone and connect it to this grill in 30 seconds and you can control it from anywhere in the world. So I got this thing set at 109 degrees. It's actually running at 192 right now. I'm 100% filled with pellets. I could put a meat probe in, but I'm gonna wait to do that till later. So I'm ready to put this on. So you can see we got the smoke rolling. I've got the top shelf out, so I've just got it here on the second shelf, right in the middle, works for me. I'm going fat side up, that's the Texas way. 
Uh, you're welcome to cook meat up. A lot of competition-based folks go meat up. It presents better in competition. But a uh, Texas uh, barbecue joint will serve it to you fat up, and that's what I like, so that's the way we're going to roll, but you can do what you want to do. So again, we're going to let this thing go. It's going to go all night. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to spritz it, do nothing. I can monitor it from my app if I want. But we're going to go eat supper. I'll probably take a peek before I go to bed, but I'm just going to let it go. So we'll check back in on this thing tomorrow morning. Morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning, 7 o'clock. About to run my kids to school and then head to work. So we've done nothing to this brisket. It has sat on here for 12 hours at 190. We have not spritzed it. We have not touched it. So I'm going to come in here, open her up. Whew, looking nice and barked up. Ugh. She's shrunk up a little. So I'm going to wrap in pink butcher paper. It's kind of what you do in Texas. I'm going to use our butcher paper. You can use foil. But keep in mind, we're going to keep this cook nice and low for a while. We're not going up. I want this to go all day because I don't want to have it until dinner. So when it comes to wrapping your brisket, there's a lot of ways to do it. It's just important to wrap it tight. So this is our 18 inch paper. So we've got a couple pieces overlapped on one another. And I'm basically just wrapping it as tight as I can. Think like swallowing a baby. This is my baby. All right, got my beautiful little brisket baby. I'm gonna put it right back in. I did put my meat probe in. I'm gonna put it right here in the flat. Shut it down. I'm gonna set a probe alarm for 195. So briskets are normally done around 203 degrees. I'm not touching the temperature, I'm leaving it 190, I'm going to work. And so sometime around lunchtime, I'm gonna crank it up remotely on my app to 250, and that'll take about four hours to finish this brisket, give it time to rest, and eat it for supper tonight. So, taking the kids to school, headed to the office, see you guys later. Hey guys, it's 12 o'clock here at the Meat Church Barbecue Supply Store in beautiful downtown Waxahachie, Texas. So I'm gonna take my app, which will allow me to control my trigger from anywhere in the world. Uh, and if you look, it's still rocking 190 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump the temp up to 250. There we go. From experience, I know it's gonna take about four hours to finish that brisket. So this thing ought to finish around four o'clock. And remember, I set a probe alarm for 195 to be a little fail safe, so I'll get alerted if I get to 195. So we'll check back here in just a little bit before we head home to eat. So I got an alert a few minutes ago, the brisket hit 195, let it go about 20 more minutes and then hit keep warm on my app. That'll turn that trigger into a warmer, which will safely hold my brisket as long as I want. So I can run home now or I can run home in a few hours, doesn't really matter. Uh, but we're ready to roll. So we close up here in just a bit. I'm gonna head out of here, get to the house and have some brisket. Hey guys, so back at the house after work, it's just after five o'clock. Brought Ava home from school a little bit ago. How was school today? <laughs> What'd you learn today? Or what was your favorite part? Going to recess. <laughs> Going to recess, sounds like me. You ready for brisket for dinner? Yeah. All right, so remember we put this thing on at 190 last night. It rolled 12 hours. We wrapped it in paper, didn't touch the temperature, and we bumped it up at the shop around noon to 250. And around 4 o'clock, it was at 203 degrees. At that point, I hit keep warm on my app, which dropped the trigger to 165. We're home now, ready to pull it off. And I'll tell you, I'll take the, take the probe out. You know, for me, I can tell a brisket's done when it's real nice and squishy. Um, I do recommend probing it and checking it. When it's probe tender, that's when you know it's done. Ooh. This one is... Uh, it's been sitting in the warmer, you know, 165 for just over an hour. I typically would recommend you put it in your cooler, no heat, and just rest it for a solid hour. For this video purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you what we're working with, uh, which, you know, should be good. I'd like it to be a little cooler, but it'll be okay. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work. Look at that. 
Look at that jiggle. <laughs> you like that? So I tell mommy, I like my brisket like I like my women. You gotta have a little bit of jiggle. Don't tell her I said that. So, I mean, this bark is epic. You know, people often say, how the heck do you get that bark on a trade? Well, I just showed you. I mean, that's unreal. Whew, you ready to eat? She's ready to eat. So, all right, got my brisket slicer here. In Texas, one of the first things you do, you go to barbecue joint, they ask you, do you want the lean or the fatty? Me, I want the fatty. That's on this end. So I'm going to make a, I'm gonna make a nice big slice right here. Show you the payoff. See, it's steaming a little too much. You can tell it didn't rest long enough, but that's okay. And I don't advocate you squeeze your briskets, but I just want to show you guys what a Traeger is capable of. I mean, that just looks epic. Man, can't wait to have a little bit of that. I mean, this is just super tender. Nobody's gonna be mad about that right there. Man, gonna get me some of the lean here. Slicing it against the grain. So I like to go like number two pencil width sizes here on the lean, and then I'm gonna go thicker uh, down here uh, on the point. So, you look at that right there, man. Not bad for a Tuesday meal. Normally people are doing this on a Saturday, but I just showed you guys how to make a brisket during the week. So, we're gonna enjoy this weekday brisket. You ready for brisket, Ava? Yeah. Don't sound so excited. Yeah. All right, well, folks, we're gonna go in and eat. If you like this, subscribe to our channel. We got lots more barbecue magic coming your way. See y'all.